Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is go through the basic installation of Dominion Server. So I'm going to launch the service setup file. I'm going to select the standard installation using the default options where Dominion is installed. And then you'll see it'll go through a couple of steps to install, um, firstly, the Dominion database server, the PostgreSQL installation, and thereafter it'll install the Dominion service. Now, while this is going on in the background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, the Dominion website and just show you a couple of handy links um, that you can study um, for your own information. There's a section... Um, I believe it's in the server tour where it just discusses the difference between um, the different types of um, storage schemes that you can use when um, installing Dominion. And it's very important that you familiarize yourself with the different types of um, storage schemes and decide, um, depending on your requirements, which one is best for you. You'll see there's three main schemes that uh, that are discussed. It's the scheme where your um, assets are located on a remote server and then there's the scheme where your assets are located on the server computer and then thirdly the the scheme where you've got your documents on the server computer but they're located in a shared folder. Now each of these different schemes have got their um, benefits and uh, also disadvantages. So I suggest that you familiarize yourself with these different schemes and decide um, which one is best for you. So um, as you can see our database server is up and running and the Dominion service is now installing. Nice and that's a very good sign. Okay, so once we've got the Dominion server installed, we're just going to verify on the server administration panel that the server is up and running. And if everything went off without a glitch, then you'll see both, both of these indicators are green and indicates that the server is running. Now, this says what you should pay attention to is just the name of this computer and its IP address because we're going to use these settings when we connect to the server in the installation of the Dominion client, which is our next step. So we will run the client setup. All the default options are good to go. Great, and there we go, the Dominion client is installed. I'm going to close that off. Good, now you'll see the first thing that happens when you run the Dominion client is that it opens a local catalog which it created during the setup process in your documents folder. So you'll see there's a folder there called Dominion Catalogs and by default Dominion will load this catalog here called Dominion Catalog and as you can see there there are no files located in this. Now sometimes this can be confusing because you expect it to connect to the server immediately but it does not. So for our purposes we're going to close this catalog and then we are going to connect to the shared catalog which is the one that's on the Dominion server listed over here. Now remember when uh, I asked you to take note of this IP address, I'm going to just copy this IP address and I'm going to add it into my list of shared catalogs. Okay, and then it's a matter of just double clicking that icon. It'll connect to the server. And what I'm gonna do at this stage as well is I'm just gonna show you that uh, you can add different user accounts in the server administration panel here by going to your user management section. Now by default there is an admin account 
and the guest account. Now, admin account has got the password of admin as well, and the guest account, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the password is for the guest account, but you can configure it by editing these details over here. Okay. So I'm going to log in with admin and admin, admin and admin. And there we go. Now we can see in the title bar as well there that we are logged on to the server and we've got the net catalog database open. And there we are, good to go. So there we go. The first uh, steps in installing your Dominion server and connecting to it from uh, the client. Thank you.